it basically runs from Andreas uh, through sort of Bride, Dog Mills down to Ramsey and back out to Mackled as well. So there's a, a map on the Yeah, and eventually you, you're looking to expand it? Or? Potentially. Again, it's, at, this, at this stage it is just a trial and uh, we hope it will be successful. It might, uh, it might provide some significant improvements for our rural bus services and our customers. So it's been a very busy 12 months. If you remember 12 months or so ago, the EU uh, threatened the Isle of Man and other jurisdictions with blacklisting unless they uh, met their requirements now for substance. So over the last 12 months, we've been working uh, behind the scenes with the EU to uh, draw up what we think will be appropriate legislation uh, that will meet the EU's requirements for substance. This, this will go before Tim Walden December and we'll bring forward a number of criteria now for companies to demonstrate to the income tax office that they have real substance on the island and primarily that their operations and their uh, financial activities are driven from on island activities. We've received notification today that the CW have balloted in favour, a majority in favour of strike action. Um, we haven't yet received notification of when that action may take place. Uh, we expect to get at least seven days notice. Right, because I, I seem like you're talking about cooling off periods and that sort of thing. Is this it, or do you think now negotiations are going to get a bit tougher? Uh, I think what I'd like to stress, Paul, is that it is strike action, not industrial action, um, which I think is, has been a misunderstanding because a lot of what's reported in the press is industrial action. Right. But it is for strike action, um, and obviously we await now the notification from the union as to what that action is going to be. I think what we've got presented in front of us in Tinwald next week uh, is a clear set of outline recommendations from the post office management and directors that they need support on. Uh, and I think that Tinwald will be wise to give them support because effectively when you look at the overall position, the post office is uh, made a £1.2 million loss last year. But you grab the volume, a, hang you on, grab money, yeah, yeah. It, the volume of letters in the last 10 years has virtually halved. But parcels gone up? Uh, a little bit, not by much, but okay. it has it has been uh, it has been uh, increasing. Uh, the pension scheme uh, is increasingly looking precarious and uh, is is slowly moving into the red, effectively requiring uh, urgent attention. Uh, and this long term future is is let, let's put it bluntly bleak, uh, and that needs uh, resolution. So. In a number of critical areas, the post office management have some significant challenges and it's right that they start bringing forward proposals now to deal with those challenges. Have you got to get this ready for the season, is that the plan? Uh, no, not? we're not going to get it ready for next season. That's but, too uh, quick, is it? Yeah. Uh, we, we're going to have a temporary facility on the uh, Summerland site to operate the trams out of next season right. and it will be a slightly restricted service due to the promenade works, which are also starting concurrently, uh, but we will definitely have it ready. Uh, before the next season. Yesterday, I actually officially applied for a research license uh, to the Department of Health. So they're now- Breaking news, I like it. Uh, so they're now gonna have to consider- um, You might come here and create, yes. produce I, I applied cannabis. Here, yes, I, I've applied here for a license. Um, I'm a consultant in Jamaica. Uh, cannabis consultancy is my main business. I write books on the subject, I lecture on the subject. And you use it, right? And um, for health issues, um, I do depending on where I am. Um, we're heading from here shortly, uh, down through Douglas, along the promenade up to Onken. Uh, we're going to form up again in Onken and back along the prom, out over the Harbour Bridge, uh, and then we're heading south to Castletown, um, tootle through the square in Castletown, um, back up then to the hospital. Uh, we're going to go past, uh, have a slow ride past the hospice, uh, and then we're going to end up back here. Well, the beauty of this building is you've got four floors, so we can kind of tailor it to fit each different market that we're trying to appeal to. So downstairs will be sort of casual dining, classic British food, a little bit of Mediterranean influence, very, very well priced. I want to I wanna do the numbers, so we're going to make sure the pricing is correct, but with fabulous food. Um, so 250 ground floor, casual dining, shoppers during the day, very kind of family friendly early on. And then uh, obviously later on it will turn into a more late night venue, sort of DJ led at the weekends. How do you think it went? Uh, well, the report was thrown out as it stood. and. Amendments were tabled and they didn't finish the voting on it for various technical reasons, so the final vote will be next January. So we're still not resolved. Um, but it seemed to be going in your favour. I, I got the impression there was definitely uh, a willingness to support Manx Radio, which sometimes you hear from people that, that it wasn't there. But So were you happy that you, there was that sort of underlying support? Well, one of the people who doesn't support Manx Radio, of course, is you. Uh, you have had uh, an obsession with Manx Radio for years. Okay. Um, you're very 
I don't know whether you're bitter towards us or what it is, but looking at your evidence, um, I would like to ask you what you thought of the debate. I didn't because hear it all talk. You didn't? No. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, at the minute, it's number two in the physical sales charts. Number two? Yeah, yeah, so that's actually like physical CDs. It's, uh, people buying it off, off of Amazon and going to HMV and purchasing the CD. Oh. So that, that's doing people quite well. People still buy them physically, then? Yeah, not as many. Obviously, yeah. it's all downloads these days. So, um, But that, that's helping, so... Um, what a journey you guys have had on yeah, this. It's How been, it's fun, been yeah? surreal, yeah. It's been a weird couple of months. Worst case scenario with the Euro Tunnel and Dover with an awful lot of food where you need it on just just in time I think is, is, the, mm. is the phrase fresh food that's going to go out of date quick fruit you may see shortages of that type of fruit so we've had negotiations with the UK government and an awful lot of food for the Isle of Man comes from the UK retailers where they have central depots anyway and we've been assured that the Isle of Man will be treated from yeah. this point of view yeah, as if it was the same as the United but Kingdom. But if one of those retailers themselves say oh no we're going to send it to, down to Lancashire rather than put it on the boat you can't do anything about that can you? I well mean, you, th why, why would they do that Paul? They are treating well, us exactly the same as the well, UK. I'm saying it's not a government thing it's actually just a, a, a company decision. Well no the, the, the UK government are, will be putting in measures too or, okay. or of concern and they've promised us that the Isle of Man will be treated the same as if it was in the UK. I understand that the roadworks have got to be done but they could have done it at the same time. Is this part of the promenade redevelopment or uh, have they found is, a problem? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, they're just putting a new water main in. But what's annoyed me is it's got to be resurfaced again. And when I spoke to the MHK and said, look, you know, they've resurfaced it, they're digging it up and then they resurface it again. Is it, it just, his answer was, I know it's comical, isn't it? Comical's not what I want to hear.